Hi, welcome to another Micro Tech Tech Tuesday. My name is Paul, and if you're into Micro Tech, then hit subscribe. You never know, there might be a helpful tip. If this video is useful for you, well, maybe you'll want to see more videos like this. So press subscribe, do it now while you remember. And then later on, when you realize it's a useful video and a useful tip, you'll already be subscribed, so you won't miss out on any future. I'll stop, okay. Look, a couple of weeks ago, I had quite a disaster with my RB5009 router. I was up dating the firmware and it all went pfft, it went bad it went very very bad it was an upgrade fail the reason well i think that the earlier version of firmware on the router was a little bit not quite right and so i backed up the config i did an update to the latest firmware stable version but the config would not load so i was able to get the router going again but with no config so it was like brand new like an unboxing event it had updated the firmware but i could not get my config onto it again so i had to set it all up again now luckily i don't have too many settings in my router but it was a little bit frustrating but thank you to your comments now i know how to do it better in the future. So I did follow some instructions on how to do a backup, but the backup was corrupted and you can't open up the backup and read the config. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can do that. Now, I've had quite a few very helpful comments Thank you very much. In particular, I want to give a shout out to uh, Yarp and also Dimitri. You two have provided the key. I got some suggestions that I could use putty, and I get SSH connect in. Uh, I also looked at the option of I could download Winbox, but I want to show you the easy way. I'm a little bit lazy, and I want to show you how you can get your config out of your router in a readable format, and thanks to the great tip from Dimitri, also make it so that you can see your passwords in your private keys. Now that's not a file you wanna share around, but it is very helpful if you have a failure, like I had a couple of weeks back, and you need to manually reconfigure everything in your router, at least you have a nice text readable file that you can work from. I'll show you how to do it. Now you can just go into, look, look, here it is. Just go into the web fig. So via a browser, hit your router, with the IP address, log in, and then you can click on this little button here, terminal. Now I have a terminal open in my web browser. I haven't had to install any software. Here is the magic, thanks Dimitri for this, export file equals, call the file something, I'll call it backup. And terse and show dash sensitive sensitive, spell it correctly, and enter. It's doing it. Be patient. Just a moment. It's done. Now, what you want to do is go back to Webfig, go down to Files, and there's your file. I'll just download that onto my computer, into Downloads. There we are. And now I can just open that up in a text file. Let's just open it up. And... Downloads, open in Notepad++. And there it is. There's the file. Uh, it has my passwords in there, so I won't show you too much detail. But you can see all the details there. There we are. Ta-da! So in the event of everything going absolutely pear-shaped, at least, You've got a text file that you can read your config from and you can reconfigure the router. So now that I've got this backup, I will take a uh, system backup as well and I will start to take a leap forward next week with my RB5009 to the latest release candidate so that I can eventually get SMB share working. I'll see you next week. More Micro Tech Tech Tuesday on the way then. Bye-bye. Oh, and thank you very much for the help. If it wasn't for all the comments in my videos, I would be lost. So, I hope this tip was useful for you. But your comments and feedback to me is invaluable. Thank you again.